Hello, welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries after a rather fantastic and epic day yesterday. I went down to Raw Steel Choppers with Igor and Bob. We were both in the van just having a bit of a banter and then way too much to drink when we got back home. In all the excitement, I forgot to take any videos down at uh, Strings Place. But then, you know, they are customers' bikes, they are other people's bikes and they're really quite sure of whether they would want that to be uh, public on the internet or whether it's a secret build. So uh, perhaps that's for the best, we didn't get too much in the way of video down there. So we've got a direction of travel with the tank, we made a decision, uh, a lot of talking to String around what is possible, what's not possible. Appreciate the honesty around what you can do and what you can't do. I think that's much better than, than trying to do something and then not having it turn out how you want. So uh, what I did want to show you though is this, which my mate Eagle's drawn up and is really talented in Fusion 360. So I'll give us a bit of a, a swizzly around thing. This is from scratch a drawing of the frame um, to the, the dimensions that, that I supplied. So I'm, I'm really quite impressed with that. And that, that is able to be overlaid on a side on hand sketch that we scanned in. So if we if we do that, put one against the other. There we go. So you, you can see that as the uh, the engine in situ as, as part of one of the CAD drawings that String put together. So one of the things that I asked Igor to do is to draw in the, the tank um, and, and then have a look at perhaps the top. What would it look like if we had a top mounted tank? So um, from, from scratch, that's what we came up with. If the tank was to be um, a, a thin tank that comes all the way back to the seat rail because it's not very tall and we worked out the capacity of that would be uh, eight litres, uh, yes, I think. Uh, yeah, eight. yeah. so, so that, well, that looks absolutely huge. It's only an eight litre tank. And if you look down from the top, um, you can see that the, the frame rail of the seat flows into the tank side and the same on the other side so you get that kind of x shape in, in the middle and i think it would have looked really rather quite good and from side on although you can't quite see it in this drawing the springs of the springer uh, <laughs> yeah no wheelies please um springs of, of the springer forks extend beyond the top of the tank so so it wouldn't be sitting proud at all you know the risers and the bars would, would be behind the tank but i think that that would have been really quite a challenge to get built you, you'd need to get english wheels and all the rest of it so we've gone with the cardboard model that um, we've done a few edits on so there's going to be a gusset plate in that blends into the tank. Uh, I'll probably sketch that out so I can send it to String just to confirm what we discussed and also so I can show it on here. But um, certainly, you know, my mate Igor, oh, that's, yeah, that's the... Um, that's the option too. That's the option too, yeah. yeah. It's just, so just, just for fun, we had a look at what would a complete flat-sided tank look like as it would have been on, a, on a, say, a Scott, Flying Scott or something. Uh, that gets 16 litres in, so it gives you an idea of the, the difference between um, the big tank and the small tank. And I think that, that would have looked really quite smart. Um, but it's, it's a little bit too plain, so we're going with a, a curved tank, um, no sharp edges. And I'm going to sketch that up on a bit of paper and, uh, and draw it in. Yes, if you really wanted to, you could do both and have a 26 litre tank. <laughs> Um, which, which perhaps might be a bit useful when you've got a nearly three litre single cylinder engine. But there we go, so a, a few sort of design considerations, some very talented drawing skills by, by Eagle, thank you very much for doing that. And, uh, and more updates will follow. So we, we've probably got six weeks now while the frame is away to get stuff done. Uh, so Bob and I will be finishing the gearbox and then final assembly on the big engine. Uh, when it comes back, then we'll be able to get the gearbox mounted, get the final drive sorted, wire it up, put some fuel in, and uh, ready to start. So, so sort of um, late August, perhaps early September, we'll be looking at uh, quite quite a moment. And we've got the brandy and cigars lined up on standby. As usual, thank you for watching. I think that's enough waffling for the weekend. Um, have a great weekend. More updates will follow.